what happens to the tent? It collapses. And as we grow older in life, things get a little bit more loose in life, and there's things that start to collapse and, and become destroyed. And I, I have a birthday in July as well. Mine is a little bit later this month. I'm about 30 years older than my son. My dad has a birthday in July. He's about 30 years older than me. And um, I'm fine with the age that I'm at right now. But as I get older, I know that, you know, things are going to become a little bit more loose. And, and I'm not going to be able to do the things that I used to do. Uh, this a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to climb Mount Rainier. And I, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. Uh, it, was, it was a difficult climb. But I was grateful for the opportunity and appreciated the things that my body is able to do at this uh, stage of my life. But let's say, you know, down the road, 40 years from now, if the Lord tarries and I'm still around, I don't think I will be climbing uh, Mount Rainier. I might be doing some day hikes, but I probably will not be climbing Mount Rainier in my 80s. And when we, when we think of that, when we think of our body being destroyed, are we always confident or do we get discouraged? Do we get, do we get downcast? Do we lose heart? Or do we maintain a buoyant attitude in the midst of our age and our aging? 